Hello, this is Math 6, Lesson 4-3, Write and Solve Addition and Subtraction Equations. In this lesson, we'll be able to write and solve an addition or subtraction equation. Let's look at solve and discuss it. A group of students were on a school bus. How many students were on the bus before the last stop? If you look at the picture, we see that at the last stop, the bus picked up 16 students and the bus arrived at school with 25 students. Do you take the bus to school? Does the number of students on the bus increase or decrease as you get closer to school? The school bus is picking up the students. So the more, the closer you get to school, the more students we have in the bus. And once you arrive, arrive at school, all the students get off. That's our destination. So from the last stop, as we get closer and closer, we pick up more students. So how many more students have we picked up? You can think about our last number and the last bus stops number. So 25 minus 16 would be how many students we have left. Or you can think about 16 plus what number would be 25. Okay, so 25 minus 16 is equal to nine. So 16 plus nine students would be 25. So there were nine students on the bus before the 16 students got on, right? You can say there were nine students on the bus before the 16 students got on. Okay. Let's look at focus on math practices. How does using cubes on the PAM balance demonstrate the addition and subtraction properties of equality? Look at the cubes on the PAM. You can use a PAM balance to help solve the unknown. So obviously the PAM on the right weighs heavier because you have more cubes and they should weigh the same because they're the same cubes. So you want to add some number of cubes so that it has the same weight as the weight on the right. So that's 25, this is 16. You need nine more cubes in order to balance this pan out. Let's write that down. 16. to keep the pants balanced the same number of cubes must be added or subtracted from each side. The addition and subtraction property, subtraction properties of equality states. What do they say that you need to have? the same amount added or subtracted. Same amount must be added or subtracted from each side. So the equation will be equivalent.
Okay. So in this lesson, we'll focus on how we can write and solve an addition or subtraction equation. Let's look at example one. Write and solve an addition equation. George had some plastic figures. After he bought seven more figures, he had 25. How many plastic figures did George have before he bought more? You can use a bar diagram, a balance, or an equation to represent this situation. There are many ways to solve this situation. Um, and we'll look at some examples, okay? So he already has some plastic figures. We don't know how many, but he bought seven more figures, two, four, six, eight, seven, right? And after he bought these new seven figures, he had a total of 25. So how can we figure out what, how much he had um, before he bought seven figures? So there's one way. You can look at this pan right? You can find the value of n by getting it alone on one side of the equation. So if you have 25 here and you have seven new, you can take seven away from each side and you would figure out what n is, okay? If you actually have the weighting system, right? You will balance them out and then take them uh, take the sevens out so that you would figure out what this blue figure is weighted onto. It should be equivalent to 18 of these figures. Or you could draw a bar diagram. Here's a bar diagram um, to represent the situation. The total bar should be 25. You have 25 right now but you know he bought seven more so x should be whatever he had before he bought seven so m plus seven should be 25 right or from 25 to take away seven and that's n which is 18 or you could this is the last way or you could just solve it algebraically write an equation m plus seven is 25 and then use the subtraction property of equality. If you subtract seven on both sides, then you are not changing the equation according to the subtraction property of equality. And you get rid of that seven because seven minus seven is zero. And 25 minus seven should equal to N, which is 18. Okay, Those, these are called the operations that undo each other which is called inverse relationship. So addition and subtraction, they're inverse relationship. Multiplication and division, they're inverse relationship. Um, you need to add or subtract the same numbers that you want to get rid of um, and multiply or divide um, reciprocals in order to get an inverse relationship, okay? Um, if you're not sure, if you have done this right, you could check. You could substitute 18, your answer, um, in your first equation, just to check if this is right. Eight, is 18 plus seven, 25? Yes, it does. So you've done right, okay? So George started with 18 figures. Let's look at try a question. Cabrini had some markers. After she bought 12 more markers, she had 16, okay? Some markers you don't know. So X is some markers. After she bought 12 more markers, so she's adding 12, right? Then what does she have? That equals to 16 markers. How many markers did she have at the start? Okay, oh, we're gonna let M represent the number of markers. So M plus 12 is equal to 16. In order to undo 12, you want to get rid of this 12 so that you have N is equal to something, right? In order to undo 12, what would you do? You're adding 12, but you want to subtract 12 in order to not do it, right? So then you subtract 12 on both sides. 16 minus 12 is? Four. So Cabrini had four markers at the start. Okay. 
Convince me which property of equality is used to solve the equation n plus 12 equals 16. Could one of the other properties of equality have also been used? Explain. So what did we use here? That was subtraction property of equality. We subtracted the same amount of number to both sides, right? So that we do not change the equation. Could we use other properties of equality? Could we add 12 on both sides to solve for n? No, you add 12, you got n plus 24. It doesn't get you closer to your answer n, right? You want to undo 12, which you need to use the subtraction property of equality, okay? Um, no. You need to use subtraction property of equality because um, subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. So adding 12, you need to subtract 12 to undo that. All right, let's look at example two. Write and solve a subtraction equation. Clive is 19 years old, 19 years younger than Josh. Clive is 34. Write and solve a subtraction equation to write Josh's age, y. So Josh's age, you don't know. Obviously, if Clive is younger than Josh, Josh will be older right so his age is going to be a bigger number we already know clive's age which is 34 and josh is 19 years older so 34 plus 19 would be josh but how they word it is makes you think oh josh's age is why you don't know if you subtract 19 because clive is 19 years younger that's equal to clive's age which is 34. So then we have y minus 19 equals 34. In order to undo the subtracting 19, you want to use the inverse operation, which is adding 19. So you add 19 on both sides by addition property of equality, and you should get y equals 53. 34 plus 19 is 53. So you know Josh is 53 years old. Let's check if that's right, okay? y minus 19 equals 34 was the initial equation we came, came up with, right? So plug in 30, 53 here it is 53 minus 19, 34. Yes, 53 minus 19 is 34. So Josh is 53 years old. Example three, solve problems using equations. Andy has some basketball cards. After he bought 12 more, he has 48 cards. How many cards did Andy have at the start? Okay, so he, we don't know how many cards he had in the beginning, but he bought 12 more and he ended up with 48. This is very similar to example one, right? Draw a bar diagram to represent the situation. We can use a bar diagram now. So X is N is how many cards Andy originally had, and you add 12 to get 48. Write that in the equation, n plus 12 is equal to 48. And in order to do an inverse operation, you want to get n is equal to something. So you want to get rid of that 12. 12 is added. So inverse operation is subtracting 12. Subtract 12 on both sides and use subtraction property of equality. We are not changing the equation. N is equal to 36. Okay. Or if you looked at this as a subtraction equation, 48 minus 12 should equal to N. And you just saw that. So Andy had 36 cards at the start. Let's try the try it question. Vivian read 14 fewer pages than she was assigned to read. She read 60 pages. Write and solve an equation to find how many pages P Vivian was assigned to read. So if you look, if you draw a bar graph, she only read 60 pages 
and it's 14 fewer than her assignment, which she doesn't know. That's N or P, right? So then you can write an equation. Um, you can write either P should be 60 plus 14 or 60 um, or, or you can say P minus 14 is equal to 60. So either way, you can you can find the, the same solution. So P, if you have P is equal to 60 plus 14, then you can say how many total pages must she read? 74 total pages. If you had this equation, you have the inverse operation of negative 14 plus 14. You add 14 on the other side as well. You have P is equal to 74. Okay. So it must be 74 pages that she needed to read. All right. That was lesson three, 4 3. Um, let's summarize our lesson. What did we learn? You can use inverse relationships and the properties of equality to solve equations. You can use a bar diagram to see whether you have to subtract or add from which number, right? So if you have a bar diagram of 15 of the whole thing and you have 5 and C that you don't know, you know if you add 5 and 5 plus C, you get 15. So then you can solve the equation. If you have a bar diagram that has an unknown total number, then you can still add them 20 plus 16 to get n, or you can also write a subtraction equation, n minus 16 or n minus 20 should equal to the other number and solve for it. That was lesson four, that's three, write and solve addition and subtraction equation. Thanks guys, uh, we'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye.